XOXO, Gothic Girl. <laughs> Pose. <laughs> Good morrow and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm not sure how you got here, but certainly I'm glad you came. And if you are new here, well, you're in for a treat. All right, if you enjoy chaotic frenetic energy and the occasional subscription box sent in PR, then you are in the right place, my dear, and I suggest you go on ahead and subscribe. It is a wonderful time to do so. You should also hit that notification bell because then you'll know whenever I'm creating mediocre content. All right, we are here today with a ginormous box from Ipsy, and if I get my shit together, <laughs> We will definitely be uh, showing like a like a ha 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 like shot of it, and if I don't, then you know, look on Instagram. There'll probably be a picture there. All right. So y'all, Ipsy reached out to me last month, I believe, and I was a little hesitant because I was like, you know, I have this strong stance on on uh, subscription boxes, and one of the things that I started to think about as I move forward, which I think some of y'all have seen, if you're new here, you may not have seen it, but I kind of like started moving around to the idea that there are some people who do enjoy their surprises. There are some people who find value in the box and I don't want to alienate y'all either, but also like, it is kind of fun. It is kind of fun. Like I don't like most surprises because <laughs> surprise, I am a Taurus and also uh, uh, my autism doesn't like it. Uh, at all. <laughs> but I have this ginormous box from Ipsy and thank you Ipsy for sending this over. I'm actually kind of excited. All right. All right. So we're going to go ahead, go through it. I have, I have pre-opened it because, uh, as I said before, I don't like surprises <laughs> and I've been doing some of these live, but I just wanted to sit down and, um, a spot in my house with some natural sunlight because you make me feel okay i'm done with that for this moment we'll see y'all it is probably like 7 a.m right now i don't know who i am 7 30 and this is what we're doing i'm normally up at this time anyway i'm just not normally always filming so let's get into this box now just for reference, I want to show you the size of this thing because it's monstrous. Please hold while I try to show it to you. Like, y'all. <laughs> so listen, I didn't know exactly what they were going to send over and I am excited. There's also like um, some things that I can do to like win prizes. So I'm very excited to be doing this because like, listen. If there's one thing I enjoy doing, it's winning. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. So first of all, I have this uh, Juice Beauty, the organic solution. It's an SPF 30 oil-free moisturizer. Here is my feeling about this. I don't love Juice Beauty, the brand, that much. I feel like it's fairly expensive for what it is. And I, as you may have heard, I'm not a huge fan of SPF moisturizer, uh, just because I have SPF. I, I have SPF and it works like a moisturizer as well. Uh, so we will try this at some date and point in time and see if I likes it. Now this I am super excited about because I really do love these. It's from Wander Beauty. It's the Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. I have loved these for an eternity. I don't know if I'm going to be putting prices of things or not, but if I am, then there you go. But I fucking adore these because they're so good for filming. If you are in the biz, <laughs> listen, now we're going to hit that shop talk shit. If you are in the biz, if you do photos for Instagram, Twitter, if you're on TikTok, if you do YouTube, these are fantastic pre-filming because it just like depuffs, like for me, it depuffs right here so that I like don't look like the tired ass mess that I actually am when I start filming. It's temporary, obviously, but it feels good and it looks good. Next, we are going to grab this. I'm excited for this actually, okay? I don't shave a lot of things, my pits and the but I am excited for the pillowy shave cream from Refreshments. I have not tried this yet and like I'm excited to try this because I'm like, bitch, listen. I have to shave my armpits because the sensation of hair right in this area, like my arms are very sensitive to it, uh, just generally. So I have to, so I'm like really excited. I might even consider, don't get excited now. Shaving my legs. I know. 
Listen. I'm still me, okay? I'm still me. But yeah, I'm really excited to go ahead and try this. It's in citrus spritz, which I do like those kinds of scents in the shower. I like the kind of like wake you up scents, not necessarily like go to sleep when it comes to shaving. I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, next we have, this is something I'm really excited about. Uh, this is MOTD Cosmetics and I have three brushes in here. I'm gonna go ahead and open them right now whilst we're sitting here because who am I if not a person who opens things? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I like this? Okay, please hold because I, I know the crinkling noises can upset folks. So here we go. First things first, I kept all of these so that I can continue to use them with all the ones I already have. Uh, then this is, I don't know what kind of brush this, this, this is. It, it says Supermodel Sculpt. So I'm going to assume that it's for like, obviously sculpting, but I don't know how I would use this because listen, I'm a makeup enthusiast, not a makeup artist. So do I just like, okay, punch my face with it? Yes, all right. Next we have this um, golden gem bronzer. I have not used a brush like this for bronzing before. I feel like it's a strange shape, but you know what? I'm up to try new things. I will try it for what it says it's for. And then if I don't like that, we're gonna use it for something else. I will say that the brushes are soft at this point. And then obviously this is for your cheeks or bronzer, like blush or bronzer. I actually prefer a um, kind of a blunt head brush for my brush for my blush. That's me. Oh my God, I have so many spider webs up there. I have 10 foot ceiling. So if there's a lot of echo, you know, I'm not going to apologize for it because I live here and I don't <laughs> make a shit ton of money doing YouTube. So like, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, they're actually surprisingly soft, although they do feel a l tiny bit coarse, just a tiny bit coarse. So we'll see. I don't love this part here. I do feel like this little like I can't remember the name for it right now. One of y'all tell me in the comments, but I feel like it's kind of cheap feeling and I could do without it. I feel like when I wash these, that's gonna end up looking like hot garbage, but we'll see, we will see. Next up I have this thing. <laughs> it is from Au Soleil. I do not know how to say that, but it is a sarong. It is a sarong. Now, here's the thing about me and this sarong. Likely, um, I will uh, not use it for saronging. Uh, because, <laughs> for saronging. Um, I might use it like around my shoulders or something, you know? But uh, I, I don't spend a lot of time in the sun. So, like, I would use it like this. You know what I mean? Like, listen, that's who I am as a person. Uh, <laughs> because I don't, you know... Um, I have like a little coverall for when I go swim. Um, it's the kind of the, one of the few times I don't stress about how weird my legs look. So that's kind of cool though. That is really cool. I'm going to see if I can find how much this costs because I need to know what the value is. You have to wash it cold and hang dry only. Oof, listen, that's not how I wash clothes. Okay. We're going to move forward. I also received like this little bag. And if there, it says like stay golden, so I will put these brushes in here for now. Like I feel like it, I feel like what this bag was for was like all the shiz that was in here. Um, <laughs> it came from the refreshments, and it says, "Ooh, so welcome to your July glam bag and glam bag." Glam bag plus we packed them with products for gold medal worthy beauty moments from gleaming skin to gilded eye looks and more plus there's an extra special gift from us to you a custom all soleil beach sarong for fun days in the sun first of all i don't i don't fuck with a beach i don't like sand i don't like it the feeling of the sand oh, my toes mm -mm. we're gonna shake that off so I'm gonna create some fun looks. I should have read that first, but you know, it was in the bottom of this uh, box. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not that person who hunts down everything. Next up we have from Beauty For Real, the Golden Hour Mango Butter Eyeshadow Palette. And I'll be putting this on today. And I will show it to you. Y'all, I'm kind of excited about this natural light-ish. Like it's cool that I get to do it. Oh, this is fun-ish. It's fun-ish. I really like the blue and the gold. 
Like the blue and the gold are very pretty and I will also play with the brown. We gonna play, we gonna play a little bit. Cause you know what? I'm gonna be a golden goddess for a second. You know what I mean? It's, it hurts nothing for me to, to try new things. And finally, I have the uh, Ipsy Glam bag. One thing I do kind of wish that they would let go of is the bags. <laughs> And I know that that doesn't, like, Audra, it's called Ipsy Glam Bag. No, I get it. But, like, here's the thing. <laughs> you get so many of them. If you, especially if you do it month to month, like, every month, you don't know what to do with all these bags. You end up throwing them away. So I have one, two, three. I have six things in here, okay? They seem to be all deluxe samples. So we're going to start here. We're going to start with uh, Brio Geo Superfoods Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Hair Mask, which I'm most likely not going to be using. I will put this in a box for one of my friends just because I don't, I don't really do my own hair. Uh, next up we have... Ooh, a Stunna Lip Paint by Fenty. I don't know why, but I absolutely adore this Fenty packaging. I mean, I know why, it looks cool as fuck. That's why it's cool. So let me just like get in here because I need to see it. Like I need, oh, <laughs> look at that. Listen, let's not pretend that this isn't bad. Like, let's not pretend that this is not some bad bitch ass shit. Like. Will I be able to carry it anywhere? Probably not. But if I do, will I look like a bad bitch putting it on my lips? Yes. The answer is yes. Uh, then we have the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing and Treatment. It looks like it is um, a mask and it's like just a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, next up, we're gonna have some mascara. It's the It Lash Blowout. We'll see. We'll see if it's gonna blow out my lashes. I have a weird thing with um, It Cosmetics in there because I used to like their <sighs> extended lash, super duper. I'm gonna put it down here. But I used to like that, and the last time I tried it, I felt like it was too much and too heavy, and it was flaky. Uh, and finally, uh, not finally. We also have, of course, it's not a beauty <laughs> beauty box and a beauty subscription if there is not black uh, eyeliner. So there is black eyeliner. This is from KVD. It is their cake pencil. So we'll play with that, see what we get out of that as well. And now finally we have the Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer, which we will play with this also. I do, it's no secret I like um, Tarte's, they have one primer the coconut primer that i like a lot so okay let us let us pull things together and we'll get started we'll start talking about this uh stuff in this uh box okay i shall return <laughs> all right so first we're gonna try this tart primer because y'all know a bitch loves a hi hydrating primer if you haven't seen my primer video highly recommend Ooh, it's a funky it kind of smells like the sea, though. <laughs> like, it smells sea-like. I know it's tart sea, but, like, it really does. If you don't like scented things, but that's it on my hand. It looks ooey-gooey. And let's go ahead. Okay, bitch. All right. Yeah, it has that, like, you know, like, not real, like, not the real sea scent, right? It has the scent that we think of for the sea. It's almost like a light cologne. But if you are sensitive to smells or fragrance, this won't be for you. But I like, I like it. And I, I am not sensitive to it, so. Okay, it is hydrating, honestly. It feels good and even better, it's not pilling my moisturizer that I have on underneath. I like to do both, so that's that. All right, so let's get in and do the eye look with the Golden Hour Beauty For Real palette. Today, I'm gonna be a what? Basic bitch. So we're gonna go in with Shadow, which is this brown shade. Ooh, it's picking up nicely. Oh, I kinda like this, okay. As we know, my technique is uh, pack then blend, pack then blend. Uh, I just enjoy that more than anything else. Mm -mm. This looks pretty. I feel like it's coming across on camera really nicely, so. Yeah, okay, other eye, we'll be back. Okay, because I haven't washed my brushes, we're actually gonna go in with a blaze, 
which is this kind of peachy shade. It is another matte shade, and I'm just gonna pull it from here and drag it a little bit into there and then bring it down with my pen brush. <laughs> it's not, like, that's not what it's called, but I call it a pen brush because I use it like a pen. This doesn't have a ton of pigment, but if you're going for that kind of very natural, like, I look like this regularly, am I wearing makeup? Well, I'll never tell. It does do that. Okay, now I'm going in with this brush to just like gently blend this out. The brand shall not be named, but here we go. All right, I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do before I use uh, any of the shimmers because like they're kind of banging, I'm actually going to carve out a little space here with some NYX Glitter Glue Glitter Primer, if that's what we wanna call it, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, we're gonna come in with the shade Pink Sands, which is this kind of pink gold shift shade, and I feel like it'll be kind of fun to throw into the mix. Let me see how it picks up on the brush. Pretty good, it's very glittery. I'm glad I used some NYX primer, glitter primer, because I feel like if I hadn't have, this could have been a bit of a mess. You are gonna experience a little bit of fallout with these shimmers. Okay, yeah, I dig this. It kind of looks very foiled. Like it's a very foiled shimmer. So we're gonna go over to the other eye. All right, I think that the eye look is coming out very Audra. <laughs> so what I definitely want to do right quick is I'm gonna go in with salt, my finger and grab a little bit of Solstice, which is a more bronzy shade, and I'm just gonna pop it onto the edge here just to um, do whatever the hell I do. This again, like this is why I like palettes of this size though, because it's very easy for you to get everything to just kind of mix and match, hang out and play with each other. Um, and it doesn't require a ton of work on your part to figure out if this shit is gonna go together. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's gonna go. And you don't have to do a huge guessing game to figure out like, oh, is this gonna work? Is that gonna work? Uh, are these shadows gonna play nicely with each other? Am I gonna be able to create a look? The answer is yes, you will. Now, just right quick, I'm going to touch up using the shade name is called shadow. I'm just gonna touch up around here like that. All right, I will be right back. I'm going to just put some concealer on my face. Um, I might try using the sculpt, bl sculpt brush. So instead of me being right back, let me just, let me, you know what time it is. Now because of who I am as a person, I'm gonna be going in with my Armani concealer. Uh, I have the Luminous Silk Concealer. So I'm going in with the Luminous Silk Concealer. And I'm not actually, currently for summer, I'm not super into uh, wearing, <laughs> wearing foundation right now because it's really hot in Texas. So I am just going with um, a large layer of concealer. So that's what I'm gonna say. Just like oodles and oodles of concealer. Mostly I just wanna cover my mustache. <laughs> and even out my skin tone. Like that's really what I'm going for. So I'm not trying to like, I don't even call this spot concealing because I don't spot conceal. Like you, as you can clearly see, I'm not spot concealing. I'm, I'm, I am concealing. All right. So I'm going in with the MOTD supermodel sculpt. I'm not sculpting, sh sculpting shit, but I am going to just gently pat this into my face. Oh, okay. This ain't bad. It is, again, this brush is like, it's okay. I knew it was gonna be, I felt that it might be a little bit coarse and I feel like I was correct with that assessment. And I'm just gonna pull it kind of out so you can clearly kind of get, you know, see? Cause I don't mind these little imperfections in my face. Uh, I kind of dig them. <laughs> I kind of dig it, but like underneath my eyes, I just like for them to look awake, bright, pretty. 
I'm looking in the viewfinder. Yes, babes, I am. Because I'm not using the mirror right now. So I'm using the viewfinder as my mirror. Don't be mad at me. It's like I... L uh, this brush is okay. It's a medium-like. I wish it were just a smidgen. I don't know what it is. I just wish that like the brushes were less coarse. I think that's it. Like the bristles, excuse me. I wish the bristles were just a little bit less coarse, a little bit softer, and a little bit less like densely packed like they are currently. Maybe that's the issue for me is that they're packed a little bit too dense. And I feel like this brush to me um, would do well with just a little bit more of a shape so that I can kind of like if I if I was sculpting, I feel like I just need more from the shape of the brush to like sculpt. But it does do it does do well for me painting this this shit on my face. So here we go. All right, so let's finish out the eyes, or I'm gonna finish out the eyes. I'm sorry, I said let's like you're here doing it with me. Uh, I'm actually gonna go in with Infinite, the blue shade, because um, you know that's who I am. And I'm just gonna pull it almost all the way to the front like so. Cause it's just, it gives it like a little bit of that like good feel. It gives you, again, if you are basic Betty, like here's just this super simple way for you to like not feel like you are, like you are basic. Like if you want to experiment, that's actually another thing I like about palettes this size is when you are someone who's like, yeah, I'm just kind of basic and I don't, like a too much excitement but palettes like this, this give you just like that little pop and this has a lot of shimmer in it which you can build up or make it however the hell you want it and so now i'm going to come in and i am going to go in with golden ray which is this very gold shade i'm going to see if i can try to be a little careful with it but also not really and i'm going to pull it through here like so and I'm gonna use it in my inner. I'm using the wrong brush, that's the problem. Found the right one, so here we go. I thought I had this brush in my hand, I did not. Golden Ray is a little bit more difficult to get a hold of. So I'm doing something very simple and subtle. This is a very simple look. I'm literally, like, I think there's only two two shades at this point I haven't used. And now, because I said there's only two shades I haven't used, I'm going to come in with the same brush and I'm gonna grab Reflection and I'm just gonna like pop it into the point here. Like not even just like inner eye, just like, ugh, yes, bitch. Okay, hold on. Just to give like a little extra focal point to what's happening. Ooh, okay. So I'm digging this. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab this funky little eye eyeliner. Um, and <laughs> we are going to use it on the lower lash right now. Oh my gosh, congratulations, it's a black eyeliner. <laughs> okay. And you know what, because of who I am as a person today, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can go draw a wing with this. Normally I'm a liquid liner batch, but we're gonna go ahead and try this. It's been a long time since I've done it with a pencil, so here we go. It's gonna be a little less sharp, and I did just break it. <laughs> it's all right, I wouldn't recommend, wouldn't recommend. <laughs> all right, we are back after uh, me having lost the battery, so that happened. Okay, I'm gonna say that this pencil is nice for your waterline. I don't recommend it for doing this, the wings part of the situation. All right, all right. Now you can take your finger and just kind of to like give it a little bit more depth, but like that's if you want to. You know what I mean? That's if you want to, you don't have to. You don't even have to have wings. Let me throw some eyebrows on, we'll be right back. All right, my brows are on. And let me just tell y'all right quick, if I ever get that money money, first two things I'm doing, uh, well, three, paying off my car, <laughs> uh, microbladed eyebrows for sure, and just tattoos galore, tattoos. All right, so now we are going to hop in with my favorite blush palette at this point, the Rouge Romance from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. We ain't gonna talk about it. I'm gonna go in with Tea Room because 
I want to and I'm gonna use their little cheek brush and see if I like how it applies because we all know I don't okay let me try this way I don't like it for this okay I'm <laughs> I am currently not a fan I've been applying my blush a little differently lately a little bit higher uh, and there's a reason for it it's because I like it you're welcome this is a very pigmented blush and I always forget it <laughs> when I'm playing with it I'm like oops Oopsie daisy. Now, the thing that I do like about these though, if you have deeper skin, and let's say that you go in and you're like, oop, I used a bit too much, the, you can go in with Pretty Posh, which is a lighter, very light shade of blush. It's like the one that doesn't necessarily work for deep skin tones, uh, but you can go in with that on top of, and I like to do that as well. Now, I'm gonna take this palette, the Golden Hour, and I'm going to use a little bit of Golden Ray for my highlight. Because my dearest friend Emily has really gotten me into using my eyeshadow palettes like to their fullest extent. And that has given me just a lot of joy, number one, but also it just makes it so that everything just kind of comes together and matches. Now, as a highlight, it's gonna be, you can see, it's gonna be glittery, right? Right. But are we okay with that? I am. I am. Okay, now come back in on this line. And I'm being very like deliberate kind of about this highlight and where I want it to be. Bitch, yes, okay. Now let's bring it on up. Let's bring it on up. I gotta be careful with this other battery, y'all, because this other battery is a piece of shit. So, um, I've been having trouble finding the actual Canon battery for this. And I'm very specific about wanting that battery because uh, for me, it has not been being friendly with its little replacements, its little friends. Now, there we go. I do, I just love me a good nose highlight. I'm sorry, like I do love it. All right, let's come in closer. Let's throw on the It Cosmetics Mascara. Okay, thank you. Tell no one I'm having fun. This is the brush, just the standard, standard brush, closely packed bristles. Let's go. I feel like this brush is a little big for my eye. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes so that you can see the difference. Okay, now we're gonna go do the other eye. <laughs> If there was a difference, I'm gonna find out in post if there was. <laughs> and I'll tell you if I like it or not. All right, now with that funky blush brush, I'm gonna come in right here at the tops of my cheeks with a little bit of Pretty Posh because this is right there. Because it's not super pigmented, but it does give me like just a smidgen of color, just a smidgen, which I am fine with, I'm happy with, and I can work with. It just helps with the glitter. Like if I don't love all that glitter, it just helps. Yeah, babes, listen, I'm a fucking masterpiece right now and I can't be told anything different. Uh, as is my usual gig, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite, I have two favorite bronzers. One of them is the Juvia's Place bronzed uh, duos and the other is my Kosas. I fucking love this Kosas. Like, listen, that is gonna be probably one of my top products of all time, this Kosas bronzer. So let's go in with the Golden Gem bronzer brush that they're telling me should work and let's let's see let's see oh wow 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 okay i feel like i have like a lot happening i feel like this brush is too flimsy i'm gonna like look at y'all but i feel like it's like just a little bit too flimsy we'll see i feel like it's too flimsy for that i, I feel like this is a powder brush but like I don't like it as my bronzer brush. I, I kind of like to be a little bit more precise. Like it's so flimsy. It's just like blap, 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 blap on my face. Like, cause I feel like you can't really define. Now remember, makeup enthusiast, but I feel like this brush isn't really helping to define, but it's still cute. I'm gonna pat some in the areas, just pat it in the areas where I don't have concealer. 
what are we looking? What are we, what are we looking like? Do I look good? Do I look, um, sweaty? Because yes. All right. Finalmente the lip paint, the piece de resistance is the Fenty beauty lip startup. But you know what I'm trying to say? Listen, these products and their long ass names. We've had to talk about this. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. I love it. All right, we're gonna let the lip paint dry and be right back. All right, my little chickadees, we are back. I, okay, listen, I kind of really like everything. I like all the stuff that I tried. I think that it looks good. I, with the exception of the brushes, I'm just gonna repurpose them from what their purpose is <laughs> and have some fun with them. But I think that I look glowy, ready for summer. Mm. I'm definitely gonna say that this is, it's, you know, liquid lip. I will also tell you that it's pretty much got a full, like a foolproof brush and that if you try to kind of drag it any other way, it's got like this little foot on it. And I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's very much to where like you draw it one way and like, that's it babes. Don't go any other, don't go anywhere else. Don't do anything else. <laughs> don't try to like go, like do this thing. It's like, no, you're gonna go one direction and it keeps you from making mistakes, which I like. The brushes are okay, like I said. The mascara, it's mascara. I, I, <laughs> the mascara is mascara and that's all I can say about that. The other items I'm gonna be trying, make sure you're following me on IG because I will be discussing these products specifically separate from the other items that I own, mainly because I do like to separate things that I got from beauty boxes versus things that I purchased, just so that you know what we're talking about, why we're talking about it. Uh, so I'll be talking about these, I'll have these on and, and hang out with y'all uh, sometime I'm hoping this week, uh, my mother has had surgery, uh, knee replacement surgery, so just know that I do see y'all, and if I'm a little slow on the uptake, that's what I've been doing. Uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's a fun time. I'm so excited because it's gonna be a good thing for my mom. Any who's it, again, Ipsy, thank you for sending me this. I forgot how much I did, I do kind of enjoy playing with this stuff. I think that this little Beauty For Real palette is so fun. Like, it's actually really a nice little palette. Like, look, 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 look. Come here and look at this bitch. Look. Mmm. 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 Do I look summer ready? Yes. Do I look like I'm gonna snatch your soul? No, and that's on purpose so that you don't suspect it when I do. All right, that is it, y'all. That's the video. Let's scooch back out and finish this out. I appreciate each and every one of you who came to check this out. Another thank you to Ipsy. I can't remember if I said thank you because like of how my brain works, but thank you to Ipsy for sending me this. This is really exciting. I'll update you on the items that I did not get to try and give you a final thoughts on a lot of these products uh, later this month, but yeah. Yeah. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So then that way the algorithm goddess can keep doing the thing where it shoves me down further into the algorithm so that that way I can keep doing what? Whatever the fuck I want to. And as usual, huge shout out to my patrons and spooky bays. Yeah. All right. Without y'all, you know, I would not be able to keep this horrible train a running and uh, I would not be able to keep the bats in the belfry and the spiders <laughs> firmly ensconced in their webs. So sorry. I saw something out of the corner of my eye. I was like, what's that? <laughs> Until next time, you know the drill. It costs zero, zero dollars to be kind. It's so good for your soul because if you don't take care of it, I'm sure as hell going to take care of it for you. So, uh, XOXO. <laughs> Got the girl. I look like a bad bitch. I'm so sorry, but like. I love it. <laughs> No, I don't want it. I don't. Listen, I love you. Oh my gosh, yes, I love you, but I need you to go sit in your spot. Mommy, I know mommy's filming in a new spot today. I look ready for summer. I look ready for summer. Look at this lip. Mm. No, sir, stop. Okay. No, no, no. 
good baby. No, 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 no touchy, no touchy. Bo, let mommy film. Mm, come get it, mm, come get it. No, just kidding, don't get it, don't get it. <laughs>